friends, with haters. Hello, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Also, welcome to my new apartment. Um, I don't quite know where the filming spaces are going to be in this place yet. We're working on it. Like, I already can't tell if this is going to be good because you have, like, the light coming in from right there. But it's all right. This is my kitchen. Um, I love being able to open this porch door and get some nice breeze. So it's really nice today. It's like a perfect spring day. It's not too hot, not too cold either. Um, I've been really productive today. I've been up since like 6.30. I just like woke up. I had a really good night's sleep. Um, and I just woke up and I was just like, okay, I'm doing life. And I got up, went to the gym. After the gym, I went then grocery shopping. And that's actually why I'm here with you guys right now. I'm gonna show you a little kind of, I guess, grocery haul maybe. Um, as we know, my life has been absolutely chaotic throughout April, so thank you again for sticking with me because I know I don't really, I don't think I uploaded for like nearly three weeks, which as we know, I've been trying to be really consistent in general and trying to make sure I have at least an upload a week and sometimes two uploads a week. So thank you guys for sticking with me for, you know, three weeks of no uploads and I feel like I wasn't even really on my Instagram story either, so you guys definitely just had kind of like no communication from me. Um, so if you're still around, Thanks, I really appreciate it. I am really excited to be in this place and be a little bit more settled. It's already starting to come together. I am gonna send, uh, show you guys like another kind of tour once I do get everything finally like, put away and like organized um, and like get more furniture bought. I am in the process of buying a couch, I think. Um, actually, I'm gonna post the two options right here if I can post both of them. If not, I'll post one here and then in a few seconds, the next one. Let me know which one you think is more Erica because I know which one I'm leaning towards, but I'm just interested in what your guys' opinions would be because you guys know me decently well, I'd say. Um, but yeah, so on the way home from the gym, I went to my new grocery store. I've got a little, a little member card, a little club card, very excited about. And the store is interesting because it's not... There's some things that are really inexpensive, but then some things that are very expensive compared to like my other grocery store that I used to go to, which benefit of where I live, I'm only like five-ish minutes from my old town and like old apartment. Oh no, I think my neighbor, one of my neighbors went to the downstairs. I don't want them to think I'm crazy talking to myself. But I'm only five minutes from the other grocery store. Actually, when I go to the gym, it makes sense just to kind of drive the back road. So I actually pass, kind of drive through town to get to the gym. So there are some things that I might probably still be getting from there. But this store has some really cool like items I've never seen before. Um, and some things are like really, really incredibly priced as well, which I think is it's just interesting seeing how some things are really great, some things are not as great. I'll show you guys some of the staples that I bought that I've, um, I'm gonna be cooking with. I think I might do a little bit of a meal prep in this video as well because life is so crazy. So I'm really kind of getting like back on track, or I should say, I don't really like that phrase as much because, like, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like that phrase. I just don't like it that much. But I'm getting back to consistency. I think that's what I'll call this. Um, but so one thing I've been loving is some like zucchini. So I bought a couple of zucchini. They're super easy because I feel like they don't necessarily have too much flavor, which is kind of a great thing sometimes because they just add a lot of volume, but don't necessarily mess up the flavor of your food. So I got a couple of those. I got a big thing of mushrooms. Again, somewhere, you know, not too, too much flavor, not too many calories at all, but just adds lots of volume into a meal. Um, I got this new brand of gnocchi. It was literally less than two dollars, and it has about three servings. So I got a couple packs of this because you guys know I love my gnocchi. Um, I've been playing around with some different types of dishes as well. So see what we can do with that. If you want to do one of the same things or something a little bit different, then for our main protein sources, I do have some frozen proteins that are easy to throw in, but I also just don't necessarily like cooking with frozen stuff and it's vegetables but so I got a package of shrimp they're already cooked benefit of that is that like you literally can just take a handful and like throw them in your dish which I really like um and it's a pretty decent size and also the price I mean this for me is probably about two maybe three servings but probably a little bit about two because I like a lot of shrimp and have, you know lots of high protein meals I also then got ground turkey as we know I love ground turkey I've been loving it for the last few months I'm definitely feeling like 
I mean, obviously I'm gonna probably do a cheeseburger and yaki, but I'm also thinking maybe I'll do something like, not quite chili, but something just a little bit more basic uh, between either, could be chili actually. I've had chili on the brain for the last few days, so maybe I will do chili. But I was also thinking like quesadillas or something in that realm, maybe like a burrito or something for like a breakfast burrito. Um, I've been really slacking on my breakfast meals and I do have some eggs, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna try and prep breakfast sandwiches, but I also don't think I have any bread. So we're not too sure on the breakfast, but I've been loving like yogurt bowls. I actually do have a big thing of Faye Greek yogurt. Um, these are so delicious. I I really like Faye. Um, it I get the fat-free one. Great. It's super high in protein. I mean, one serving has 18 grams of protein in it. That's pretty high. Um, so especially if you're having a couple, this has three servings technically in this thing. So you can have like quite a lot as well. And you load it up with like, I've been loving this almond butter. So load it up with my protein almond butter, some fruits, maybe a little bit of honey to add some sweetness in there. Um, but you can also even just scoop in protein powder. I've seen people do that to even get the protein content even higher. But I'm probably not that dedicated to the protein aspect. But I am going to start tracking my food a little bit more again. Um, now that I can again to kind of get myself back in the swing of things but highly recommend but this has been more my go-to breakfast so that was kind of a random thing but I got this the other day I did a huge like a huge like a $200 huge grocery shop the other day and I thought about trying to show you guys through that but it was just it was a lot of stuff um but I bought this the other day but again yeah and then oh and then I got this beautiful nice piece of salmon um it's three quarters of a pound so for the price it wasn't too bad and it's wild caught i usually try to get wild caught salmon compared to like farm raised um and i mean in this three quarters of a pound that will last me this is probably about three servings if i cut it right maybe only two unless i cut one really thin but we'll see but I love salmon and I haven't been able to have it as much because again, like traveling with work, you know, I'm having lots of like chicken and like chicken tenders and things like that. Um, I also got some cream cheese. I just have a store brand. I've been cooking with cream cheese quite a lot recently. Um, I realized I don't like cream cheese by itself, but I found that I like it in stuff. So mixing this, in like with pasta make a nice creamy sauce um that's really actually all i've been doing with it and i tried this the other day and i loved it so i got another one as well as a different flavor as well so this is something called soylent it's like a um 20 grams of protein soy protein beverage meal replacement shake type of thing I got the cafe chai flavor it's pretty good at first I couldn't tell if I liked it because there was a slight aftertaste but I think that's from the soy I haven't just drank like soy in a very long time it is 400 calories so it definitely is like a full meal replacement technically in terms of like that um, so I would definitely have this as like a snack or something like after the gym um, but not necessarily like your beverage along with a meal I mean unless you have accounted for that amount of calories if it makes sense um but really really liked it so i got another one and i also got a mint chocolate one so pretty excited to try that as well and then oh last one at least i got some c4s they're on sale i got two of the frozen bombsicle flavors and then two of the skittles flavors i love the flavor that they have um especially if they go on sale can't uh, can't beat it so but yeah that's a little grocery haul I'm definitely gonna show you guys what I'm making. I think I'm gonna do a kind of a bit of a meal prep um, just so that I do stay with it, that I don't get lazy throughout the week. At least do like half the week of meals, I think. Um, and yeah, all right, see you in a few. All right, friends, fans, haters, it has been quite a while since I last chatted with you. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, okay, so let me put that there. I'm in the process of doing a bit of meal prep and I cut up a nice big board of um, zucchini and mushrooms that I bought 
today at the shop. And I've really been liking this combo. Um, so I'm gonna do like a big uh, thing with that. Um, but I just got excited because the, the sunset looks a little bit nice right now, so I wanted to show you. I'm also hanging out with Annie Openshaw. Um, I love her YouTube videos, they're pretty chill. And especially she's like trained from doing with more fitness stuff on her Annie Openshaw to then her new new-ish channel is called Annie's Life. Um, and both are good. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna pop in, oh I need some spices, some garlic and onion, um, some spices, and then I'm gonna do gnocchi and shrimp. I'm gonna make a little bit of a creamy sauce thing. I'm cooking it in this like really big thing that my mom actually found in my closet. Didn't even know I owned it. But I'm gonna cook it in that because I'm gonna try and do like a solid at least like two if not three. Well I definitely think a solid three meals. I cooked I chopped up an entire zucchini, like more than like half a container of a half a family size container of shrimp uh mushrooms. So I think I'll be able to make a good voluminous voluminous I'm out of food. Um, let me see if I can, I hope it can, you can see it kind of well. Hold on. You can't, I just had to, I had to get my hand first so I could open the door. Oh, it's kind of really pretty right now. I feel like one, I've got a bit of a glow, but look at this guys. I feel like the, it's not even doing it justice to the colors. I think and down there you can kind of see a little bit more too. The Hudson River not too bad i would really love to like i really want to maybe one day like get a little bit of a chair or something for this little corner that i have here um so there's even like a nice ledge i came out and had uh dinner here the other night but it would be nice to like have a coffee here in the morning and things like that oh, i'm really excited for summer and like the sunsets that i think i'm gonna see in the summer because summer gets pretty good sunsets here <laughs> when my mom was here and we went to the grocery store last weekend we got these like garlic and onion cubes they're definitely very beneficial um i'm not one on like too much flavor and it's nice that like they're already pre-cut and they're like you know already cubed so pop a couple in add a little bit more flavor and whatnot and try and get a little bit better at doing that i mean my food especially if you guys have tried my recipes like i think it always tastes good there's always flavor. If it's an amount of like how much flavor you might want, I don't know. I'm pretty simple. I don't require too much to be content, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna pop one onion and I think two garlics in. Um, and yeah. I mean, are we kidding? It's gotten even better. Oh, look, there's a train. Oh, there it is. But like, look at that. Now, I'm not going to get cocky and say I'm a culinary genius, but come on, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. It actually really does smell like so, so good. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So literally again, just um garlic and onion cubes in there with uh, zucchini, green squash, whatever you call it, um, or sorry, courgette for my UK friends out there, um, and some mushrooms, and then throw in some shrimp, and then some uh, gnocchi, and to get the kind of creamy sauce, it's just a bit of water with some cream cheese. Like I said, I don't like cream cheese, but I've been loving cooking with cream cheese. So, really good. Not too bad on the calories. Um, but I'm going to container it up. I have two containers. Oh, actually, I have a square one, too. So, I've got two containers like this and a square one. Um, could I do the same about, I mean, the gnocchi alone, I, I made a whole pack, so it should be about three servings. So, it should be about three meals, at least. So, I definitely did get... Um, a couple of decent servings. One of them I think is probably a little bit bigger 
than the other or vice versa one smaller than the others but that's okay i also i'm not quite meal prep but i did which for proper coffee people they'll be like erica what are you doing well i'm making some cold brew but one of the only decent containers i have is my french press but basically just put your coffee in there put cold water in there or room temperature water i think i use room temperature oh no i did use cold water i use cold filtered water specifically um because though i do I have so much coffee and I also have a bit of Stoke cold brew. Um, as you can see, you can kind of see the light through. So I think I've got a little bit less than half a container, maybe about a third. Um, so between the two of that, then I'll make myself like a protein coffee in the morning. I can't really prep that besides having the coffee kind of ready. Um, and that'll help me a little bit stay on track. I know I've got little things in my fridge also like, um, Say like carrots and some cucumber um earlier today i made like a cucumber tomato like mozzarella like little saladish thing um and that was super tasty and that's something i can throw together really easily but as long as like food is prepped that way i can just grab it for lunch that'll be beneficial um i thought about prep oh. <laughs> that was terrifying um my tablets on the dying um i thought about prepping some oh what's the word hold on i can't think and do things at the same time i thought about prepping some overnight oats but lately i've been really into like those yogurt bowls so it's the fire greek yogurt with some berries and some protein almond butter I don't know why I just haven't been feeling oats and I love oats, but I think it's also maybe it's the, I don't know. I feel like I go through these, through these phases, but breakfast lately has not been my favorite meal. So if you have, have decent breakfast things, let me know because I've been a little, a little on the struggle bus a little bit when it comes to breakfast recently. Um, but that'd be another good one to like kind of prep would be like, overnight oats if you want if that's what you were in the mood for so i'm winding down with a little bit of moon milk um because my sleep's kind of been all over the place because of stress anxiety the move traveling with work stuff my sleep's been all over so my recovery hasn't been good when it comes to like you know the few workouts i've been getting in i just feel like i've been having doms and just not feeling great for a long time after so this will help me fall asleep a little bit faster if you don't no moon milk by naked harvest definitely i highly recommend it really really does help with sleep thank you guys so much for watching i hope you liked this little clip of this kind of getting back to consistency i might make this like a mini series i'm not sure um but yeah i hope you guys liked it and i'll catch you in the next one goodbye